Serapom, bridging technology for greening Malaysia. Climate change is a global challenge. Increasingly extreme weather events caused a surge in natural disasters over the past 50 years. The Bond Challenge, Germany 2011, a global effort to restore 350 million hectares of the world's degraded lands by 2030 with forest landscape restoration as one of the target deliveries. Forest Department Sarawak, FDS, has since pledged to plant 35 million trees statewide by the year 2025 to restore our tropical rainforest to its original ecosystem and functionality. Our innovation, Sarawak's designer seatball version known as Sarabom, is composed of nutrient-packed materials in a special ratio rolled into a bowl shape with seeds of desired trees in its core. Sarabom has the ability to improve seeds' biological capacity, increase germination percentage and germination speed, and increase the seed resistance to extreme temperatures and predators. We successfully produce seed balls with this indigenous native tree species. FDS opted to immerse this innovation using quadquarters but could manually throw through Sarawak's inaccessible, hilly, degraded land. We managed to reduce the annual operational costs of tree planting from 21.6 million ringgit to 9.2 million ringgit by 83%. This innovation is 15 times faster and 58% lower in cost. 100% of Sarabom survive and thrive after dispersal. Seed bombs are an easy and effective way to restore biodiversity in our environment. This is definitely in line with SDG Goal 1 by creating jobs and business opportunity which aims to end poverty in all its forms everywhere and ultimately ensure foods on the table for the rural families of Sarawak. In terms of environmental sustainability, of SDG Goal 13 and Goal 15 for the preservation of the environment by the maintaining 62% of Sarawak forest cover, thus contributing to the reductions of the national carbon emissions target of the 45% and increasing intangible conservation value of forest goods and services from 200,000 hectares degraded forest store area by the year 2030 under the Greening Sarawak campaigns and programs Penghijauan Malaysia 2021-2025. To it, many agriculture, health and water experts are aware that deforestation and suboptimal land use could seriously implants to ensure healthy life and supply water which falls under SDG 3 and SDG 6. 
thus making reforestation's efforts the vital strategy for the better planet. projek sebol amat manahlah projek sebol tu bagi kami orang kampung abang oleh natai oleh merek kami penatai pemisi setiap bulan bagi kami orang kampung jabatan hutan mantuk kami kami pun mantuk sidak laban sidak bisik merek gaji kami setiap bulan okeylah nampung penghidup kami di orang kampung terbaik sebol dari jabatan hutan successfully dispersed 300,000 Sarabom seed balls for the year 2022. MOA with University Putra Malaysia was inked in 2022 to enhance Sarabom seed balls for commercialization purposes. The project gained high interest from forest plantation giants Sarawak Planted Forest Sandiran Berhad, the intellectual property of Sarabom. What's his references? the Sarawak Multimedia Authority, SMA. The project garnered the highest Park Excellence Award at the 46 ICQCC 2021 India and has won the Research and Development and Commercialization Award category in the Sarawak Digital Economy Award 2022. And this is innovation that has been made by the Jawatan Kehutanan. So I say thank you. This seed bowl looks small, but it gives a big impact to the environment, nations, and the earth.